we're gonna do until dawn and we will continue. Da da Spoilers! Josh. <laughs> Josh! How does it feel? Do you enjoy all those emotions that my sisters got to feel once one year ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off! No! No, 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 no! They're gone! Jessica's fucking dead! I don't think she's dead. I mean, she fell down an elevator shaft, but, like, she was alive last time we saw her, Mike. I fucking pay you, dick! Ah, what happened? Jess, Mike? I don't remember killing Tess. Jesus Christ. Oh, that was pretty funny. Oh my god, Matt! <laughs> oh, oh, we're already in control. We go right to Emily. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, no. No. Use me. Oh. What? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. The only person I think is legit dead and I'm not even sure of this, Shit. is Matt. And I think it's because I helped Emily when I shouldn't have. Yeah. Oh my god. Right. But even, like, I could see Matt, even Matt being not dead. I could see that being possible. Is it laggy for you guys? Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Let me know how it is, because, like, I don't seem to be having any lag problems on my end, but you never know with setup with stuff, so. You think it's just the, you just think it's the game in general lagging? Oh, oh, yeah, those video cutscenes are really, like, the quality on them is not really that good. That's, that's for everyone, if that's what you mean. Like, the, the cutscenes, the quality on them is, like, I don't know if it's intended to look bad, like, badly pre-rendered, or what, but, well, oops, I didn't mean to go in that just right away. I want to look at those things in a second. A fortune totem. Alright. So, something I've been neglecting is looking in this menu here. So, Mike does something. So, don't get, get Mike to not do something. Um, okay, let's watch, let's watch events of the past again. grandfather could not defeat it. Sometime after, the prospectors came to mine this mountain until a cave-in trap and driven mad murderers. Cannibals eating. Okay. Not really get. I don't know what moves and many hunts. I grasp beyond my reach. Until one night, a year ago, I was finally able to get him in my sights. But we were not alone in the woods that night. See, I think the person who's... No! I couldn't see. I think the person who's narrating that is the one that tried to save... Yeah. And, like, I don't know if you saw, the, like, in the background there, um, there was, like, a weird, creepy, gangly-legged thing. I keep saying Windigo because we're dealing with cannibalism and, like, Native American myths and stuff. 
And that would play right into Windigo. Those two things. So... Now the question is, which way do I go? Fuck, am I in a goddamn fucking maze or something? Yeah. I remember the night that the, like, the night a year ago, the girls saw f flames out in the woods, too. So, I almost feel like maybe the miners, like, resorted to cannibalism to, uh, resorted to cannibalism to save themselves because they were trapped in the mine, and then one of them transformed into a windigo, and the other one's trying to stop him. That's, that is my personal theory as to what's going on. Or at least the half the half of things that we don't know what the fuck is going on, that's the half that that I think it, like that's my theory. I mean, there's the whole stuff with Josh and everything, but I don't really give ten fucks about that right now. All right, so this is the right way to go. The quote unquote right way. Alright. What the fuck is that? Which would kind of explain the pacing of the game. Why, like... Oh, what's that over there? Oh, no, I didn't want to enter the gap! Okay, this is gonna be the way. Uh, no. Can't, can I go back? Damn it. Fucking shit dicks! Shit. I'm trying to look at the thing in the back of... It's, it's fucking Gollum. It's Gollum's older, taller brother. I chose right because of the elevator. Oh, Seemed like getting out of the mines might be a good idea. Uh, do you see that claw behind you? Go, girl! You can do it, Em! Oh, I think that was the, like... Like, we saw a vision of her getting, like, caught on fire far earlier. I'm wondering if that was it there. This is... Why did you turn this on? If you can't run up a pl uh the leap off. Jump scare, jump scare. And a jump scare, that's kind of surprising. I would participate in ch with chat more right now if I could. Things are a little hectic. Well, I got bit. That's not good. Come on, Lara Croft! Well, we're still alive, but where the fuck are we?
Are we afflicted by the curse of the Windigo now or something? Where are we? Who are we? What's going on? Okay, who are we? Are we still M? Yeah, we're M. Okay. Oh, I'm Chris now. A monster is a monster. Wait. <laughs> Alright. So, I meant to beforehand. I wanted to... Okay, so these are clues. So, like, I can inspect all of these and stuff. Well, Josh learned about special effects from his dad's movie experience. No shit. Oops. Wait, is Josh's dad in the picture the creepy uncle from Always Sunny? He kind of looks like it. Is that the only picture we have of his dad? Because that really kind of looks like Charlie's creepy uncle from Always Sunny. If either of you have watched that, if you haven't, then that means nothing. These are weird photos. All right, well. Maybe it's, okay, so these are the clues from 1952. These are the clues related to the Mystery Man, which apparently I only missed one. The but okay, here are the butterfly effects ones, so... Chris was happy to see Sam. And Chris continued to trust Sam. Because of that, okay. So what was the last? Okay, once bitten was the last. Oh, damn it, was the last butterfly effect we had. Emily was bitten. That's not going to be a good thing. Chris didn't shoot Ashley. Ashley followed Chris. Ashley failed to see who was in the workshop. Interesting. Ashley took the scissors. Ashley stabbed the psycho. So Josh is injured because she stabbed Josh. And the psycho gave Ashley a black eye. Chris hit Josh because of that. Matt tried to save Emily. Matt fell into the mine and was attacked. Okay, so Matt is dead. Matt fell into the mine and was attacked. Matt was killed. So Matt is dead. I think, th I think that's our definitive answer that Matt is dead. Who gets the gun? Emily gave the flare gun to Matt. Emily had no defense against the attack and was bitten. Fuck. Well, that explains why Emily was bitten. I thought the, the game was hinting at me to... to I don't know. Mac walked, through calm, Mac walked calmly through the herd. Matt and Emily escaped the threat unscathed. Sam made all the right choices during the chase. Uh, Chris and Ashley found a dummy in Sam's clothes. Sam explored the psycho's workshop. Apparently there's a way, yeah, like, the, the game told me to give him the gun, so. Matt supported Emily's plan to go to the tower and get help. Matt fired the signal flare for help. Matt had no defense against the attack. So in either case, I could have kept the gun and used it to defend myself. Mike didn't kick the wolf. Mike made a friend. At what price? Mike freed the, himself from the bear trap. Mike no longer had a usable machete. Chris said that he would save Emily. Or Ashley. Why did I say Emily? Nah. Ashley was grateful and felt indebted to Chris. 
Josh felt betrayed and antagonized by Chris. Chris considered violence. Good, Chris. You do consider that violence. Okay, Mike successfully chased after Jessica. See, none of these say Jessica's dead, so I don't think Jessica's dead. Sam found a baseball bat and left it in the cellar. Sam had the option to use the bat when being chased. Sam, so Josh, Josh has been hit with the baseball bat twice because Chris hit him once. Or no, Chris hit Matt to. Anyway, I'm surprised Josh is not more beat up than he is. Mike came to Jessica's aid immediately. Jessica appreciated Mike's heroism. Mike continued to impress Jessica. Jessica resisted Mike's advances. Matt sided with Emily. Emily was sympathetic to Matt. Well, good, because... Ashley encouraged Matt to use the telescope. Matt saw Mike and, Mike and Emily flirting. Matt confronted Mike. Guess that's not going anywhere. Rats with bushy tails. Chris chose not to shoot the squirrel. Nature remained in balance. So apparently, if, if nature... If nature doesn't remain in balance, a bunch of, like, the animals will start turning against you and stuff. So, uh, it's really good to have it, like, remain in balance. Okay, so Ashley and I are at really good points. I'm surprised my relationship with Josh, or Chris's relationship with Josh is not lower. But I've been playing Chris more honest than... Maybe I should, apparently. More charitable than I should. Less funny than I should. Less brave than I should. About as romantic as I should. Interesting. What are you talking about? I said there's something out like there. Like what? Gosh, relax. It was Josh. It was all Josh. No, 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 no. Listen to we me. We got him tied up. He can't hurt you. No, it was after me and it wasn't human. Hold on. Wait, Em, where's Matt? Is he okay? <laughs> oh god, we, we couldn't use the cable car, so we climbed the tower, and then it fell, and we were down in the mine, like, way down, down in this terrifying freaking mine shaft. Hold on, hold on. And, and then it, it was Matt and me down there, and... Oh god, I think that Matt might be dead. Wait, what? How? Emily, what happened? I, I was walking down there in the mines, and it was dark, and I found this pile, and... There was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head, I found oh it. Oh my god. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I think they fell down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died, like, from the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks. When we were all up here. Oh, do you think Hannah her, ate Beth and is also now a Wendigo? That's horrible. Listen, in in the tower there's no one there was a radio turning to see what the hell the noise someone, is. But then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em. You made it. Oh god, yeah, yeah, Mike. Barely. What about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. She's all messed up, guys. Emily. Hey, Em. Whoa. Who the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess. It's not Jess. Could be Jess. Sorry, man, but I would love it if it was Jess. And she, like, found. just gone, like, just gave them the shit. Like, the constant shit. Mike still has the gun without ammunition. Oh, it's, okay. Um, well, we saw the fortune thing with... Okay, suggest. Okay. I'm gonna open the door. You ready? Mm -hmm. You ready? Just do it already. Whoever it is is probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. So the fortune the thing told me... I got the gun. Yeah. The fortune t t thing told me to... <laughs> Why would you kick there. in the door? Hold on there, mister. Ah, oh, what? The? All right, all right. Just take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. And the door is Get shut now. Over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. 
I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Our responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to... Wendigo! <laughs> Who? What's he talking about? What the hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Now, I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I wanna... We may know too much, much about mythology okay. things sometimes. I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shh. Up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. I don't remember seeing those. Find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Should someone Why? go get Brad Josh? Until dawn. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. I just want, I seriously want Jess to show up with, like, that guy's extra, like, flamethrower or something. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to Chris, no! Then, I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. you going alone. It's suicide. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. Don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh... Yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. Yes, exactly. Like, just... Just turns from, like... Like, the kind of bimbo character to being just, like... The, the badass kick ass. This is the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me. I know. Hey. Come back safe. Uh, uh, I think we're. I'm not sh I think we're in chapter Season. eight or nine. I can't remember. So, so, so tell me, you're the expert on We're these pretty things. far along. We're probably finishing what's, today. Uh, what, what, what's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. Can we see what chapter we're in? I don't think we can. Yeah. So... How many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even? It'll just piss it off. No, and it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it, and it can kill them if you have to. Their skin is like it's like tough armor unless you burn it off first. It's gross. What are these Flesh? like? I mean, are they just... Oh, what are they like, or? not what do they like? I mean, can you figure out what they're going to do? Well, they adhere to some patterns. Like any animal. Or human. What, you mean like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. I'm going to get Chris killed, I'm sure. Why? I didn't ask. The, uh, pro Wendigo tips. Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something. And the pig's head's still, still here. Smell you. Anything like that. 
I can't see you if you're... So they're like T-Rexes. I think this is the one I've already seen. based on changes of movement in their field of vision. Yeah. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. I was hoping there'd be something new up there, but I guess not. Why does no one zip up their jackets? My god, people. If these things... Wendigos... Are or, or were human... Do they, do they still have some aspect of humanity in them? Well, they retain certain things. I mean, is it really right to kill them? Maybe they could be cured, or... <laughs> they surrender human rights the moment they eat one another. There's no cure, there's no redemption. I, I mean, if they're still human, I don't know if it's right to hurt them. When you're staring one in the face, it's them or you. You feel free to take the high road. You won't be on it for long. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Windigo got him. Let's go back. Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh. We gotta go. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. <laughs> First, the Windigo. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the yeah. off of your entire body. On your organs, one piece. Sounds like Matt time. did not have a fun time then. So we'll watch that. Yeah. Let's go now. It might still be near. Wait, let's go back in here briefly. I just want to make sure that there's nothing important in here. Forget it. Also, who killed up, like... So who cleaned up the half-body that was in here? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna say, where did that go? Although I, I'm also wondering why the um, why the thing returned to where it started at. Okay, so there was nothing else back there. That's kind of dumb. And I guess we could take a look and see how, like, yeah, like I wish I could just open this to see Josh's little hidey ho thing. All right, well, there's nothing in here. What else do we got? What else do we got? Why are there no totems in here? Oh, crap. Yeah, well, a broken stool, and yes, a lot of blood, but, I mean, realistically, if Josh got away by himself, he would realistically probably continue to, like, want to continue to fuck with us. So... Also, the gun, I think, keeps clipping inside of Chris. Chris's jacket. As, yeah, there it is. It's right inside. It's best not to think about that on too much. Alright. I guess now we should hurry. Because the old man wants me to hurry. Let's see if there's anything over here. Ooh, there is something over here. Have I found this one before? Who 
Whose head was that? Was that Emily's head? No, I think that's Jess. No, that's Ashley, because those are Ashley's gloves. Okay. Alright, okay, I'm ready. Nope. Wait. No more. You're very quiet, man. Wow. Run! QT time. Maybe I should have blew up the guy. Cat, this is not an appropriate time to be rubbing oh. against my legs. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck, that's not good. Well. Bye, Chris. Chris! No! Ash. Ash. No. I, I, I flinched for a second, noticing that there was something I could shoot in be behind, and it was just, it was enough of a distraction. Are you okay? Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Let's get down to the basement. That thing's like a Dark Souls boss. Stay with me. Stay with me, Ash. Although I think that that one, I think that one is Hannah. I'm guessing that's what it is. Is Hannah ate? Ash, oh thank God! Ash, what's wrong? It's. I think it's Hannah ate Beth. What, what? What do you mean? And now she's getting revenge on the Where's people. Ash? Oh no! Oh, God, Ash. It's only a joke, Han. He was out there. I'm. I'm so. Because otherwise, why would she decapitate those people? What about the old guy? No sign of him. He's gotta be dead too. Oh Christ! Well, then why would it decapitate the the it's guy with the? Doors. I guess the guy with the flamethrower is a are threat. Sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. They and said it. They here. said oh, until dawn. Yeah. All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning. People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? There are so yeah, many butts I mean, in this game. Right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh. He's got to have it. Josh? Also, that would... Yeah. Great. Great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. Huh. Em, what? Fuck it. 
I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get. Okay, Nathan Drake. And what is all that? So that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It's horrible. You were? You've been a cave in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh my god. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some like big cover up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody had been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying. Emily's like weird. moving her head like crazy she's gone a up here. bird. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanitarium. Yeah, we know that. Exactly. I, got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Um. Um, what is that? Huh? What is that? Ash. Um, oh my god, oh my god, it's, it's oh my nothing. god. It's oh nothing. No. It just it, oh no, it bit no. me and... It bit you? What bit you? The, the Wendigo. What? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's, it's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you, I, I know what you're thinking. Who says it's like a werewolf? Yes, Emily. At least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens if it bit you, you're gonna turn into one, and then you're gonna turn on us. Oh my god! Oh, oh my Ashley's god. freaking oh out. God. She's freaking out. You can't be down here with us. What, Mike? You gotta go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell, I am. Emily, you can't stay here. <laughs> Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. What is this, guys? What are you doing? Door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with- Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get You're afraid of, of the here. baby Wendigo? No, oh, this- this is the- This is the scene that it told me to not shoot her. You're gonna shoot me? Like me? This is the safe room, M. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Don't, don't do this. I'm really sorry. Fuck, I can't do this. Yeah, that was the scene that it was warning me of. You did the right thing. I hope you did. Maybe. For now. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. You're not taking any kind of guns. Maybe you should read the journal. Read the fucking journal, ladies! Oh, great. Ash is going all psycho. I thought that that he was going to help us. With a flamethrower, dude? No, we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've got to be tough. We've got to do this. I, just, I, I want to smack the shit out of Ashley. I know she's freaked out, but I want to smack her to just, like, smack some sense into her. Oh, cannibalism. Only a few men have dared hunt the Wendigo. I Sky's keep fucking OCD. hell. Why? Why are you interrupting my reading? Why is this OCD? Why is writing down notes OCD? Oh, Ash, you're annoying me now. Ash, you were so far down my annoying me list. Oh my god, Ash is Meg. 
I'm the only one who has ever kept them under control. Heed these words, or it shall be your death, and your death will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism. When a human is desperate and craves food, trapped on the mountain in the fierce winter storms, when he has eaten nothing for many days, the Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse. Often those companions who have traveled with him, he will eat the raw flesh from the corpses. I've seen this happen many years ago, craving for flesh that cannot be sated. And when the change begins, the eyes the first, the eyes turn first and become milky and white. Then the teeth become longer, like fangs. The creature grows, and the skin is pulled taut across the bones. Oh, history. There was a tribe that lived in these mountains. The Cree. The shame. A lot of yes, okay, this. Ash. I'm reading the goddamn book. The cre the sh shamans tell the stories of a tall creature born in ice. The tribe respected the mountain and all the animals which lived on it. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal that became sacred also. The Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and would hunt elsewhere. In 1893, the miners arrived, and they found tin. Later, found traces of radium. They mined deep into that sacred mountain. The Cree say the mountain cried out, and the spirit was released. You gotta put the apostrophe in there. Jaffa! Cree! Or something. This says that because the Wendigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. <sighs> the Wendigos' eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim. The Wendigo sees movement. It is a hunter, like a hawk, but it cannot see stillness. If you had to keep totally still, then the Wendigo would not be able to see you. The skin and flesh of the Wendigo are hard, like armor. They seem to feel no pain, but they cannot be, they cannot be cut or stabbed. Bullets will not pierce the skin, though a shotgun will keep them at bay. Because the Wendigo is mutated from a human, it knows how to hunt us. It can perfectly mimic its prey. And it must, remain sh it must remain sharp and disciplined. I have killed six Wendigo. Knives or bullets would not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It is the best weapon. Flames envelops them and burns away their skin. Makes them weak. But try not to kill them. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. I have contained them. I have used traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The cages were baited with human limbs from those that had no f further use for them. One by one, I caught those who had infested the mountain. Okay, so... That trap that Mike stuck his hand in earlier, that he got his, his fingers trapped in and we had to use the, um... Break the machete to get out of it, that's what that was for. Although, where the hand went, I have no idea. Also, if you notice, he had eight Wendigos written and scratched it out and wrote six. That's interesting. They cannot be sh I'm just looking at the stuff that, like, he... He scratched out, because that isn't written in the... Impossible to know... What does that say? Or is it a symbol? If away from... Hmm... Interesting. This is basically the exposition dump part of the game, apparently. You found the journal, so you get all the information. There may be defenses. Shamans wrote of the rituals. I found native artifacts on the mountains and copied them. Totems. Bunches of herbs and feathers. I copied their design. I've tested them out. But on the mountain they work. They keep the wind to go at bay. Not entirely, but enough. But inside buildings, they do not work. Cree legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo. But the bite is harmless. I have been bitten, but I did not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. Well, there. There, we got our answer. Actually, what is her relationship stuff like? Okay, that's good. Let's look at the butterfly effects. We have new butterfly effects, too. 
Oops. And Mike faced a dilemma. Mike spared Emily. that the bites it, if it bites you it's not infectious it doesn't do anything let me see uh, that I'm sorry what did you say um it says she'll be okay it says what you're gonna be fine fine Michael almost shot me is that he fine didn't shoot you. and this bitch almost let him hey, that's not fair she was scared I'm the one who's scared. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's none of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse, please, Emily. Emily. Please, just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand. Oh! 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 I'm, sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Oh, now I feel really bad. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get to Mike. Like, now. Why is no one taking the fucking gun? I mean, I guess it won't work against the Wendigo, but it'll work against, like, wolves. 